So I decided since Natasha and McKenna did the Love Shack fa Fancy collab, I figured they should get in on this collab too. So back to model this newest collab. We have uh, McKenna rocking the puffed, the midnight rose puff sleeve top and um, Natasha is sporting the wrapped in roses top. So at first glance, like I absolutely love the print um, of the wrapped in roses. It just, it's bold, it stands out, it's really eye-catching. Um, but again, the, the puffed one, Midnight Rose puffy sleeve, um, it's, it's also, it's, it's subtler, but it's still really kind of show-stopping. I think these are, like now that I see them on the dolls, I... I like them a lot better. I I don't like them not on the doll. Uh, I also am not a huge fan of them. Not, like I said, I was gonna give you the you like show them to you when they're in jeans. Um, I think it might just because you know these jeans are from different eras eras in American Girl, like over the past two decades. So they're not really jeans today. Like what we would consider. I mean. Jeans, yes, jeans change, style trends go and come. But they don't actually look that good together with these tops. And I don't know if it's just because the dark blue on the top or just how the cut and fit of the jeans are, but I actually don't like it at all. So um, I'm going to try to get to the next video um, fairly soon, which is with the skirts um, of this collaboration so that hopefully it'll look a little better. But ultimately, I think, um, I like these. I like these a lot. Um, I'm going to give them, I think I'm going to give them an A. Uh, there's just small, tiny details that, you know, just sort of keep me from getting it up to that A+. Plus. Like, they're okay. Uh, I mean, they're still, you know, well-made. I like the quality. I like the prints. I like the designs. Uh but it's, it's not screaming like A+, plus. this is a knockout of the park. It is definitely very high quality, very, very, very good. It's just not quite to that A+, plus yet for me. But I still think they're worth it. I do think the quality is there. I think they're adorable. I think I will like them more with the skirts instead of the jeans. But um, that's my thoughts. Uh, in terms of... Oops, let's see if we can turn around. Turn around without killing everybody. Here we go. Um, so again, that's just Velcro all the way down. Whoa, is that? Oh, I think that's her body tag. I think that's her body tag. Yeah, the, like I said, different cut and style of jeans compared to what we would expect now, um, I think. American Girl hasn't made just a random set of jeans in a while, so um, these are actually, I think, from American Girl Place is what that, that button says there, or that piece of cloth. Um, so there's the back of that one. So there we go. Oops. There we go, Natasha. Fantastic. So, uh, yeah, um, good quality. They're just, for me, they're just not, I don't know. I, I think these ones, I think I'm gonna take a little while to warm up to them. But for now, um, A rating and... Yeah, I think that's all I have to say. Thanks for watching my video, and I'll see you next time. Hello, welcome to my channel. Uh, in this video, I will be looking at the Janie and Jack collab with American Girl, the two sort of tops, or sweaters, or they, they call them tops, so the two tops from the collection. Um, so this is the Wrapped in Roses party top, and this is the Midnight Rose puff sleeve top. So, um... I want to take a moment uh, just to get them out of the package. Um, again, on the package, they do always have... I love this that American Girl has started doing this with their mix and match to show you all the different styles. Um, I think that's just a great addition uh, just to show you how many different things you can do. Okay, so I'm going to pause the video, get them out of the bags, uh, just because I know it's going to be loud, and then I'll give you my initial thoughts. Okay, so here are the two tops. So they are, I think they're, they're very different from each other and not, not in a bad way. 
um, but I was kind of worried they were going to be just identical pieces, uh, just with little differences, but they really are. There's enough difference here to be fairly distinct. Um, so the Wrapped in Roses is sort of the theme for this collection, and so that sort of, you'll hear that phrase, you know, Wrapped in Roses. So these are the big, bold roses. This is a screen printed on um there seems to be a lot of lint um i do i mean i, I am a dog owner and, and the dog hair is just sort of like this is being a magnet for it it's really unfortunate um but the velcro does go all the way down that's a nice touch and they do have the cardboard hanger and i'll get that out in just a second so just initial things both cardboard hangers both have the little tag clear tag right here on the bottom um, and both are Velcroed all the way down. Uh, the biggest difference is this one is screen printed, while this one is a knit with embroidery. So, uh, very different. Oh, okay. So this is actually still knit. So this is still knit, but it is, um, the print is screen printed on. Uh, so this is actually a knit shirt, which is that, I was not expecting that. Um, yeah, look, mixed paper. So that people can recycle that. That's nice. Um, I won't be. I keep hangers because I'm weird. But that's okay. It's okay to be weird. Um, this one is a more knit, like what you would traditionally think of as a knit. And it does have this embroidered rose on it. So the Midnight Rose that's supposed to be there. Um, both of these are like, att like attracting all of the dog hair. Ugh, that's okay. You have a dog, you're going to have dog hair. So first glance, um, I, I think this is the one I'm going to like more. I was hesitant to get either of these, honestly. I figured I'd probably get this because of the embroidery, um, but I, I don't, I'm not a huge fan of like the puff sleeves. So we'll also have to see what that looks like on a doll. And I think the cut, cause it just sort of, see this one has more straight line while this one sort of like hugs in. I'm not quite sure what that's going to look like. Um, first impressions. They're okay. Um, again, they don't scream holiday to me. I, uh, but they're they're not bad. They're not bad. Um, but again, if this is supposed to be like a holiday, is it supposed to be a holiday mix and match? I think so. I, winter. Let's just call it a winter mix and match. Yeah, because this is it doesn't scream holiday to me. This would be great for, you know, going on a walk in the snow i guess outside this would be great for you know winter and cooler times but i don't think it necessarily has to be holiday specific um and i think i will appreciate them more if i don't think of them as holiday so i'm gonna take a pause um i'm gonna get these on um two dolls to see who's around here that's willing to volunteer but um i'm gonna try to put them with plain jeans just as a starter just to keep them so that you can see them as they are uh, without any of the other Janie and Jack uh, pieces. And then I might do some mix and match later. But um, I'll pause the video, choose some dolls, and see how they look. 